Hey coach, welcome. I'm glad you found us on YouTube. Let me know how I can help you. I've coached for 30 years, won a lot of championships. You can see behind Coach MBA guys. I am here to help. I started teachhoops.com to help coaches just like you through this great journey we call basketball coaching. It's got more resources and I think the best part is our community and our resources that we have. You'll get my personal email address. We can get on a phone call. Teachhoops.com is the answer for your coaching journey. Let me let me know how I can help you and enjoy the video. Hey coach, can you hear me? Can't hear me yet. Now can you hear me? Hold on. Okay. You got me? I got you now. Hey, how's it going? Good, how are you? Hey, I haven't talked to you in a while. How's the self-quarantine going? Oh, no, no, I was good. My <laughs> my COVID test was negative, so I could go back to work. Oh, that's good. But I was worried. I was worried I developed some pills and I was like, uh, it's kind of worried. And those, and those, and those tests aren't always a hundred percent either. I don't think they're pretty good. They're pretty sensitive. They are. Yeah, they're pretty good. They're pretty specific too. Actually their specificity is probably not as good as their sensitivity, but, oh, that really. but I didn't have, I didn't have the classic symptoms. I, it's just cause I'm, I'm a high risk. Okay. So, you know, I work in the medical field, so. Oh God, yes. I, I can't go back and see people if I'm, you know, if there's any chance that I could have it. So. Right. Well, I'm glad you don't, Coach. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> thank you. I'm, I'm worried about. I'm worried. I'm worried about whether I'm going to go to be teaching in the fall. To be honest with you. Nah, you will. You, you see so? those countries? Yeah, see those countries that have opened up are opening up. They were just smarter than us. Norway and Austria. And, Denmark and they're all they're starting to open up slowly in fact some of those countries are sending in k kindergarten and k through three you know and slowly they'll open up I think so I think you'll be, be okay. it's gonna be close I'm worried about sending my kid to college whether I should do it whether is he gonna go to oxy no he's going to uh Middlebury Middlebury where's that that's in Vermont that's a little ivy Oh, so yeah, so he's smarter than his dad. So Middlebury, you know, Middlebury, Williams, Amherst, you yeah, know, yeah, Bowman, yeah, all yeah, those. yeah, 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 I got it. So no, we're, I've, heard it. I've heard of it, but I didn't, I couldn't, yeah, I don't and know. We're what. worried about whether, you know, it's going to start because we really want him to start, you know, it's like, should he take a gap year and wait? And, you know, that's the thing right now we're trying to figure out. But. No, I think you're going to be good. I, 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 so. yeah, I got, I got a kid starting medical school in the fall, so. Let's hope. I feel you. Let's hope. <laughs> I know. Let's hope. All right, go ahead. Shoot away, coach. All right. So my first thing is, I think one of the areas where I'm not as good of a teacher, or, or maybe I, I need your clarification. Okay. So I, I can teach defense. I can do a lot of things, skill development. I can teach some deep. But what, offense, running offense, and all my years of coaching when I've been a head coach, I feel like the guys end up playing freely pick okay. and roll set a screen they're just they're just kind of the things we talk about okay pass screen away yep pass and cut yep but no one's really running the pattern that we kind of discuss and so i'm like and what and what and what aren't they doing that's my question like are they is this is it the spacing is it the you know what aren't they doing that you want them to do i i want to see kind of a I guess I wanted to I've tried to do a pattern before I've tried I, I know this was a problem uh we tried to do that five out open post that um the guy Pettigrew from yep from your state yeah I tried to have them do that they couldn't I mean run Iowa I think you've seen that tape yep yep you know run Iowa run revolve it comes to the game time I just I need your help in terms of next season if, if when we find an offense that we like, whatever it is, and I'm looking at your, you know, I'm a regular subscriber to your yep. coaching. Yep. Um, I'm starting to, I'm starting to get into your classes. I'm going to start looking at, I started so, looking yeah, at. Yeah. So go through the one picking an offense. Cause that's going to be the key. Yeah. You got to yeah. figure out what you so need. I, I started yeah. doing that. But, okay. But what, what do I need to do to get these guys? How, I mean, how much time do I need to spend? So these guys actually go through the offense rather than, I just feel like they're free. I mean, we score, you know, we, we're okay, but I feel like we don't look 
like some teams, you just see them and they're running a pattern. They're running an offense. They're doing something. They're back screening. You, you see this pattern. I just can't get my teams to do that. And I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong. Yep. So I think you got to simplify, first of all. That's what I have found when we run read and react. You know, we used to run a structured offense like f- fist and or uh, um, swing or, or flex. We used to run that. And then we ran the yeah. triangle. And then we ran some motion. And then we now we're running some read and react. So what you have to do is pick a couple things that you want to get really good at. Um, and those are the ones you got to pound in, especially if you're running like a, a, a non-structured offense. I personally believe the game has moved away from the structured offense to the non one. Um, just because I think scouting has blown up so much <laughs> that I'm going to know if you're running a, if you're running a structured offense, like the swing or flex or something like that, yeah, yeah. I can stop you because I'll have so much film and I'll be able to. So that's why I think the motion f- free offense per se is a little bit better way to go. Um, so the the offenses that you see, they're not running a structured like you cut here, you cut here, you cut there. They're just doing things really well, like back screening or curling or those kind of things. Correct? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, but no, sometimes it looks like it's a pattern. They're doing okay. the back screen, but within a pattern, or they're doing. I mean, some of these teams look really good, and I get it. I'm like, honestly, I'm a little jealous. I'm like, how come my guys aren't doing that? Right. I mean. So, you know? so, so the back screens are a really hard thing to, 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 if they do that consistently, that's a very hard thing to teach. But okay. so I think you got to go through, go through the course about picking an offense. And then I think what you have to do is figure out what two or three things they will cut to the basket. That is, and you don't even have to teach them to cut to the basket, like pass and cut. That's an easy thing. But what do you want to get really good at? Do you want to get good at ball screens? Do you want to get good at? Um, filling your five spots. Do you want to get good at back? Those are the things. And then you got to start breaking drills down two on two, three on three, four on four with those specific things. Um, okay. Because we'll, we'll actually do a practice where we'll run our offense. And the only way you can reverse the ball is if it's off a back screen. So they got to, they basically, all they're doing is setting back screens. And then, then we'll add a late. So it's like building a, you know, like a cake. You, you do the bot or building a house, maybe is a better analogy. You basically pour the foundation, cutting the basket, five spots, whatever it is. Then the next step is the first floor. Well, what do you want to get good at next? All right. Well, you can cut or you can um, ball screen and that's it. And then you just keep working that until it's literally, they don't even think about it. And then you ask the next layer and then you add the next layer. You know, you get the two or three layers that are really good at high school level. You're going to be a really good team because you're going to have spacing. You're going to have big kids that can create. You're going to um, – don't try to do too many things well is what I'm basically telling you. Um, you know, I think you're probably running it. I mean, and I'll, and I'll do what I did for another coach. If you want to send me some film and then we come back in a couple of weeks, give me some time to watch it, then we can yeah. talk about your offense. I'd love to do that. I did that with another Teach Hoops member. Oh, awesome. awesome. Yeah. Yeah. I, okay, so, I'll so send I'm me on, some tape. I'm on huddle. Yep. I'm yep. on huddle. Oh, yep, so I'll have you share it with me. And then um, I'll give me like a week to watch it. And then okay. Jake, who, who does my high school hoops podcast, him and I will both watch it and we'll come back and go through it with you. That's much better than like, I mean, I can sit and talk about philosophical stuff, but when I see it, then I will like, Ooh, you're not doing this. Yeah. A lot of spacing. And we were, I mean, it was great. We, we were able to help Mark in 10 minutes. He, he's still talking to us like, Oh, it's so great. Cause we were able to look at his film from last year. Cause he's got a lot of guys coming back. And most teams are pretty similar, so we'll do that. I'll write myself a note, and then you send me. Um, you send I'll me. Send you the huddle. Yeah. Yeah. Send so I'll me, send it to and you. tell me what to watch. Like first of all, you got to tell me which team you are, and then you know which which color jerseys you're wearing, and then tell me, and then just send like a game or two of things that you want. You know, what do you want me to critique. look at? Yeah, critique. Yeah, yeah. What do you want me to look at? Offense, defense, out of bounds plays, whatever. Maybe the last two games of the season might be okay. good. Okay. Or, yeah. Well, yeah, how about, how about, about how about this? We won the last two games. How about I send you one where we won and one where we lost? Okay. So you did your well, season end just end because of COVID? Our season no, we our season ended on schedule like right before um right before Valentine's Day. Okay. Right okay. on schedule. Right on and schedule. um okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, send me that and then I can help you. That would be better. Yeah. 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 So um okay, that was that was okay. Uh, off that question, yep. You have if I just stick with your um, website, will I find the offense that I need? Yes, I think so. 
And if not, I don't I need to go. You. I don't need to go to championship productions and find an offense uh, videotape from there. I, go through, on, go through the court, go through the course on teach hoops. And that might move you toward, maybe you want to run something like, I don't know, read and react. Maybe you want to run a motion. Maybe you want to run a triangle. Then we, you and I can talk, but, um, do the, do the course, answer all the questions to yourself first to figure out what kind of team you have coming back, what you want to do. And then, and then I'll say, I can send you in the right spot. If you need to go get something else, I can help you do that. Um, but, but you have in your website, you have, you have that too. I believe. I do. I have that stuff, but I'm just saying, I don't, I don't have everything. And I, and if I don't have it, I want to help you make sure you get everything you need. Yeah. I got you. Got so, you. but go through gotcha. the thing is why I like the course on picking an offense is it just starts making you think about it. I actually go through it every year myself. Like I have a different team coming back next year. Hopefully we get to play. Um, and then, so I'm trying to think about how my team is going to be different. You know, I don't have a real true center next year. So do I have to tweak stuff? So I do that kind of every year. Like, okay, do I have to, you know, do different things for my, for my team offensively? Um, and then are you going to stay same defensively? Yeah. You know what? And you know what I started doing? I started with your podcast Okay. from your very first, first podcast. I've gone through 10 of them okay. to, and like, Maybe tonight or tomorrow I'm going to go 10 through 20. I'm going to catch up to number 500 and whatever you're on. <laughs> but, 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 um, but, uh, Leave a review. I, Leave a review. We love the reviews. Leave a review. I think I already did one. Okay. If you did, good. Did we one. love when the I reviews. First, good. When I, when I first uh, talked to you. Um, so then the, uh, the other thing off. Yes, I'm going to run pretty much. I think I was already doing kind of what you were doing. And I 70% man. 30, 78% man. I think you're like yeah. in the 70s. And the yeah, 70, yeah, 30, I, I like probably, that yep. zone. Yeah. So, so, okay. There's one of my biggest questions that I've been meaning to ask you is, I'm just looking at, let's see how we're doing on time. Okay, okay. we're good. Um, uh, so, a way to connect better with my guy. I feel, I'm feeling like I'm not connecting as much with my guys and I don't know feel like I'm given a lot. Right. I mean, they don't ever pay for anything. Right. Nothing. Right. We've got, we, I take them out of town to tournaments. They never pay anything. I never ask the parents for a penny. I've been there two years. I've, no one has ever paid a penny. Now, this is coming out of my pocket or some of the little fundraising that we do. Right. It's community I'm services never is the way I look at it. Um, Yes. So, yeah. so here's what I would say with uh, connecting with them is you got to meet them where they are. If you're talking about the players. Um, yeah, yeah. So that means you got to get a Snapchat. I don't, uh, I don't, yeah, I don't have, I don't do that. See, I need your help with that. I don't you do. have, a, you I gotta don't have any Snapchat, of that stuff. You got to get a Snapchat. I, I start. I, I did, I was fighting Snapchat hard, but that's basically how I communicate with them now real quick, but it's quick communication. Snapchat is like, quick video a quick chat boom it goes out and they always check that um yeah that that instagram and tiktok are probably the three places they are um so you got to basically find a way to get on those um i i just went on tiktok i just started on tiktok now that the quarantine happened um yeah and i'm just basically making fun of myself like you know uh okay. and they think it's funny they hilarious they all follow me um I also do life lessons in my class. So that's one of the reasons I started TikTok because I still want to do my life lessons. Um, so, but that's where you got to, they will think it's, they will think it's funny. They will, they will make fun of you, quote unquote, get, Hey, I'm starting a Snapchat, blah, blah, blah. And then you do like funny one. That, that's where you got to connect with them. It's harder right now because I'm not seeing, I haven't seen my guys in a month. Like right. physically haven't right. seen them in a month. Right. Right. So the only way I'm kind of connecting is kind of that back and forth with that. Um, you know, Zoom calls and all this. This is different than if you and I were sitting in a room, you know, having a beer talking. This is different. It's not the same. Right. Um, right. Right. So it's it's close. It's good, but it's not the same. Um, right. So that's where I would try to connect with them. Um, that's that's my thought. I was just starting to uh, me and uh, another guy were just starting to plan kind of like a like a retreat, try to get like 20 coaches together and we'd sit for the whole weekend, talk hoops, blah blah blah, because I think there's a difference between this Zoom stuff 
and actually sitting and just immersing yourself. You probably do that in your field. Like you go away to something and you just immerse. And I was thinking something really small. We just sit and we talk hoops the whole weekend and we just brain dump. Um, Cause I love that stuff. And it's like, makes me better. Um, but I just never got to it. And then the world ended basically. So right. <laughs> now it's going to be a year before I probably can even think about it again. But um, anyway, so yeah, that's how I think. I think those, I th that's where you got to meet them. You, you got to meet them where they are, basically. Got it. Okay, okay. All right. And I All can right, help so you set up a Snapchat. It's not that hard. Oh, but it, well, it, well, <laughs> that, I, have a, I, I don't have a Snapchat. The only, I have a Snapchat just for me, my, mo my wife, and my kids, but I don't have anything with them. Yes. And what they did is like my son was on my team this year. So he started a group one and it said Snapchat basketball with coach and they hi and they highlighted it and because they have one without me which is great i don't even want to know what's on my, the one without me but they had one with just me so that was the way i communicated with them so you could have one of the guys you could get them on a zoom call and say hey one of the guys you you trust and say hey i'm gonna, I'm yeah, gonna yeah. set up the snapchat help me do this blah 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 and they'll, they'll feel like they'll feel like they're walking grandpa through the woods holding his hand which is good, That's ah. good you know? and it's the same with tiktok it was like, you know, I started my first one literally the week I think they shut school down. And, you know, I, my first one was I'm TikToking, TikTok, 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 you know, <laughs> and they thought it was hilarious because I don't know what TikTok is. And now I kind of know what it is. Um, but anyway, it's yeah. So do that. And that will they'll think that's really cool. They'll think that's cool. Ah, okay. okay. Like I'm, an old kinda... fart. I'm an old fart. I'm 50 something. You know, they, they think the old farts getting on TikTok is pretty funny. So when I'm 55, man, yeah. so there, <laughs> but, but yeah, no. So, okay. Uh, is that something that so you're saying basically contact one of my, one of the guys that I, I trust a lot and, yes. and say, have hey, him set up a Snapchat or well, have no, you'll, you have a Snapchat. He can set up a Snapchat group with all the guys and okay. he can, and, and it will basically, I got to look at mine. I'm going to grab mine right now. So mine says, um, it says I had one for volleyball when I was coaching volleyball. It says varsity basketball 2020 with coach Collins. So he could set one of those up. So every time I communicate, I don't go even one-on-one -on -one with the kids. I just do it in that group one. Like, Hey, how you guys doing? Blah, blah, blah. I'm walking my dogs, blah, blah, blah. Okay. And then, I, then they'll snap back or I'll make a funny video of me cooking dinner and they'll send it off and they'll, they'll write comments back and whatever. Um, but God, they know that that's God. the one with me. So when they're communicating, it's not with their friends. It's not, and he can help you set that up. And then he'll invite everybody <laughs> in that group. It's like a subgroup. Um, okay. And then TikTok, you just set up a TikTok that, you know, TikToks are 15 seconds or 60 seconds and they're just videos and they'll think it's funny. But, yeah. I kind of, I kind of started looking at that recently because of my kids, but yeah. Okay. That's a good idea. All right, here's here's another one. I think we have a few minutes yep, left. Yeah, we do. Hold on. Okay, so um, the other question I had is, I think from what I've learned is, as you described, less is more. Okay, so but here's my question. In terms of pressing, and I heard one of your one of your podcasts, you pressed a lot, and I want to press more than I did this year. I did. My question, I, I pressed a lot. I. I, I... <laughs> I used to, when you're better press is kind of my theory. When you're better press, like we did, we pressed a little bit this year. We did more in the half court. There's the cost benefit, right? Like um, when you're really good, pressing is the way to go or pressure is the way to go. It's a law of large numbers. You want more possessions, right? Um, so you got to pick your, and you probably have listened to my podcast enough that, you know, I, I believe change is sometimes going from press to not press is good too. Um, but you're going to be athletic enough and you feel like you can pressure to do that. I don't know that. I mean, I think I have some athletes. I okay. do have, it depends what team I have coming back. Right. Um, generally speaking, I have a few, um, I'm okay. not real deep, but okay. I'm just, I, I have a friend who's won a lot. Um, and he's always like, dude, you need to press more. You need to press his pressure, pressure 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 and they'll buy into it it's an easy sell it's like telling kids that they can go and pick some candy out of the candy store it's an easy pressing is an easy sell it's not a hard sell <laughs> at all okay but here's the question do i do i have more than one zone press do i have two zone presses 
do I do more than just a straight up man to man? Do I do a man and jump? You know, jump. You know, what is it called? A run and jump. Run and jump. Yep. Right? You, do I do, do I do? What do I do? do? do. <laughs> uh, are you thinking just full court? No half court. Okay, so last year we did a two two one press. Okay. That 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 worked. Some I mean it, it won us games. Okay. And I did a one two one one. I had a one, okay. two, one, one in my pocket and a two, two, one, but we ended up like for part of the season, we did that and we felt like it wasn't working so well. So then we went to a two, two, one. We had a straight up man to man. We never really got to the run and jump because I think some, like I said, I don't think we had enough time. We didn't put it in. Um, our it's guys were real one. familiar. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's a hard one to run. Yep. Yep. Um, so what would your beer advice in terms of next year? Do I pick two and go with it? Well, the hard thing one is man, you can do zone. that. Do I do two man, two zone? I think you get as good. I think here's the, here's what I tell coaches: you get as good at teaching as many as you can, because you might think the two two one's great for your team next year, and then you put it in and it looks horrible. So you have to get good at a, like a one three one uh, and a run and jump. You have to get as good as you have to have as much in the tool box as you can. And then when the season comes, you just start pulling and seeing if it, how it looks. Because until you really get them out there, you're not going to know. Um, I would try to get stuff thing that can convert the full court to half court. Like, you know, you can extend a 1-3-1 and run in three-quarter court and then run at half court. You can run, um, you know, like a 1-2-2 uh, two, two into a 3-2 kind of trapping zone. So you kind of – I think you want to think about – because those are both similar in the drop. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. But but then sometimes you're going full court, sometimes you're going half court, sometimes you're straight and playing straight man, um, because high school kids don't adjust well to change. So when a, when a team's making a run at you, if you can just change up just a little bit, it's so good as far as conversion. Um, you know, like I I and I've said this recently on my podcast because we've been doing a lot of tracking recently. When someone's do, scoring on us two or three possessions in a row, we'll change up. Because I'm just trying to get them out of rhythm. You know how teams get in rhythms? Yeah, I'm just, yeah. I'm trying to break your rhythm. Um, you know, it's like a shooter. A shooter hits a couple. They better not hit the third three. Or they better, you know, you better follow them and lay them out kind of thing. Um, so don't let them get in rhythm. Well, that's where I think you want more things in your arsenal. Where, well, yeah, maybe we were running the two two one full court. But now they're starting to break it. All right, we'll fall back into the half court two two one where we trap a little bit differently. Um, so I think you want to get as good as at, at – you want to get good at a lot of different things and then have three or four things that you're thinking of trying because who knows what the team's going to look like actually when they right. that first day. <laughs> um, yeah. So you want to have as many things as you can to, to pull from, I think. Do you ever go from um, – do you ever go from a zone? Do you ever do like a, a zone full court press – and just go back into man. Yes. Do you ever do that? Yes. That's all talking. The key to that is you get better have a team that can talk because you might not end up on your guy right away and have to switch it back when they kind of run by each other. Yeah. So I will do that. Um, I will do make miss. Like if you if we make we're in this, we miss we're in this. Right. But, um, so usually it's a miss we're back into man, a make we're probably in a zone, some sort of zone. Um, full court. Full yeah, full, full court. court. Um, cause on a miss, you know, even half court, but it doesn't matter, but make miss, we'll do make miss. I've had maybe three teams that could do left, right side of the court, <laughs> um, where a team will bring it up and if they pass it to the right side of the court, we're in one thing and they pass it to the left Whoa. side of the court. Yeah. That freaks teams out. Cause they never know what you're going to be in. Um, but that again, takes practice. It's like, how good are you? What can you do? Make miss is an easy enough thing to do. If, especially if you started early in the season. Um, that it really throws teams off because they just not sure what you're doing. Um, are we in man? Or are we in zone? Are we in man? Are we in zone? You know, kind of thing. Um, so that's why I try to go that make miss on a on a on a man in a zone change up. You can be pressure, not pressure, but and again, let me ask you that. Good. Keep it simple. Yeah. Yes. But yes, what baby. you just described is complicated, coach. It is. So that, it, that's it like is. that's make make miss is not that complicated. It really no, make isn't. miss is not. But right that, side, left side, die. die. That's a but whole different level. That, that's that's yeah. A whole, yeah. That's a high IQ. One of the um, one of the yeah one of the guys is in the NBA that I used to run that with. Yeah. 
Oh my gosh. All right. Yeah. So here's the <laughs> other last, qu last few questions. Last couple, okay. last question um, is it's not even really, it's just, when I was emailing with you, you, you invited me to a group coaches meet zoom. And I, my question is this, like, I really like this. You're answering my questions the things oh, that I'm perfect. concerned about, mm -hmm. but is there a benefit to joining your, um, office hours zoom? Uh, if you want to office hours, it tends to be just drop in. Like sometimes <laughs> Jake usually comes with me. Sometimes people come to office hours and there's no one there and that's fine. Then we just go away. Sometimes three or four people show up. It just kind of depends. I, I don't mind doing this. It's just figuring our our two schedules, especially because we're in different time zones. Um, Got it. But I yeah, I don't care. I mean, this is this okay. is as good for me as office hours. I just do oh. office hours because people are asking, and it's like, hey, let's meet a week from Tuesday. If you want to come, come. If you don't, you know. Um, so it's more of a drop in. I try to think of the college um, kind of theory. Off you know, office hours. Office hours. Yeah. Yeah. Come yeah, in. I remember that. That's what I'm. No, do I was just what I'm doing like right now with my high school. Like. I was just writing down my office hours because we're online now and we're virtual. Yeah, yeah. So a couple yeah, yeah. days a week, I just have office hours and whichever kids show up, I'll help them with their stats and then whatever we're doing. So, um, do, yeah. Do you find it's beneficial to have a group of coaches talking on Zoom? Do you ever find that helps? I do, I do. I, 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 they tend to ask me more than I like, um, which is fine. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> no, I mean, that's fine. I'm You're more the willing, guru, man. You're I'm the not, guru. I'm not the guru. But I'm more <laughs> than willing the guru. <laughs> I'm more than willing to help, but that's why, that's why I was thinking about the retreat. It's like, if we all got in a room, I think the dynamic would change a little bit um, yeah. where we could all kind of share. Cause that's the thing is we all have, I've said this on my podcast, I'm the coach I am because of all, I was an assistant coach under all these great coaches and I took pieces of all of them. I, coaches are thieves. Basically we all steal stuff that we like from other yeah. coaches. That's what we do, right. you know? Um, right. <laughs> so yeah, that's what the, yeah. So the group thing's different. If you want to come, come, I mean, you can always check it out. Sometimes it'll, sometimes it'll be just you, Jake and I, you know, it just depends well, when is that, when are your office? Hours? I, I, will do, you know? I, I, I haven't done any this week. I've literally just started it. So about every other week on, on Facebook, I'll post them on the top of Facebook. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. Okay. All right. All right, man. I know you have another meeting, so I, I really appreciate your I time. Do. No problem. Thank Anytime. So and uh, stay safe. Stay healthy. Don't get sick. Yeah. We need and, our and doctors I'll be sending healthy. sending you my videos. No, no, no worries, man. You stay <laughs> safe too. Okay? Uh, I will. Please. I will. Um, send me the videos and then we'll take a look and we'll, you, we'll, set, we'll set up a one-on-one -on -one call with it. Perfect. Thank you. All right. Yep. No problem. Talk now. to you soon. Bye. Hey, coach. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, let me know how we can help. Make sure you join teachhoops.com up above and down below. Um, it is a great resource. It's a community. It's mentoring for me. One-on-one -on -one calls, office hours. You'll get my personal email address. Lots of resources, tons of resources, thousands of resources to, to check out. Uh, I've been there. I've experienced everything you have. Won lots of championships, but I want to help you do the same thing. So let me help you. Go over and check it out, teachhoops.com.